Welcome back guys to part 2 of my platinum walkthrough. Yes, a lot more to do in this one. Not many cutscenes, mainly gameplay related. So we are on this quest. The path, and we're on the quest for Ter. So first of all, we've got a raven up here. Just on there on that cliff to the left. There you go, that's your first raven 1 of 48. And they come over here. And Atreus is going to break this boat, and then you'll be attacked by some enemies. Finally. Yeah, here we go to these little critters. Get rid of these, and then, then you can move on. Yeah, there's quite a lot you can do in this part. You're going to explore quite a bit of this map. Uh, it's Vartalheim. And there's a lot of optional exploration you can do. I avoid most of it. Did not mean to do that. I do not need to waste rage mode on that little tiny thing. Okay, there we go. You know we've killed them all, so you've got your XP. And then move the boat into the water. We're going to go for a little voyage. From here, over to there. Come on, Murmur, give us a hand pushing this. Yeah, so there's a lot of optional stuff here. And I have been through a bit of it just to see what's more optimal to do now, what's more optimal to do later. Because you'll find a lot of the stuff, you can't access it until you've unlocked a ability later. Or you've made so much progress in the game, or you're at the end of the game. So, some of these places I'm leaving now... If you know this game a little bit already because you've looked at other guides or you've been playing it a little bit yourself and you're thinking why haven't I gone for that collectible or why am I not getting this yet, it's because there's going to be a more optimal time later. And so that's why I'm sort of leaving everything to a more optimal time basically so we only have to travel to each place once rather than going to it multiple times. Some places you have to, you know, if you have to go there during the story but I'm going to try and make it so we're keeping everything nice and fast guys being efficient uh, so we've got that raven uh, we're going to come up here now we're going to get our first artifact and gnaw a chest i'll explain things as we go along throughout this video so there's a lot to explain so these geysers you just throw your axe to freeze them jump across and then we want to freeze this one and grapple up there up here is your first artifact there's 38 of these all together you need to get them all this is a collectible which you need to get every one for some up. So there's your artifact. Once you've got that, that is um, Rydmere's Brassard Things Left Behind. One of six. So we're going to smash that seal. We're going to drop down here. We're going to smash that seal. That's number two. And then this seal over here. That's seal number three. Oh, there we go. That should release this Norna chest. Then you can loot it. Get the apple from inside. These chests, there's 35 of them, and you only need to get 30. You do not need to get them all for platinum, only 30 of them. So we might leave a few as we go along, just in case it's like an optional area, but all we really need from there is one, one of them. If it's way out of the way, then that's all we're going to get, going to that optional area. I might leave it. Like I say, we only need 30 out of 35. And what they do, they give you an apple or a horn. Apples increase your HP, the horns increase your rage and you normally old it normally alternates you, you will not always get the same ones from the same chest I do unless you've collected exactly the same amount it'll always be an apple then a horn apple then a horn right I might go quiet during combat encounters by the way just as I'm trying to focus yep Almost every combat encounter you get inside, you always have to kill the enemies to progress. Yeah, I've got to remember to parry sometimes, so I went for the parry shield, didn't I? If you knock him in the water, if you, um, yeah, if you kick him. Like so, you can sometimes knock enemies off a ledge and it kills them instantly, like so. Not always, but sometimes it's nice to do that. Okay, so once you kill the enemies here, all we need to do after you've got the artifact and the Norna chest, 
We're going to come up here and um, interrupt this water wheel. Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheap ground. Is that an earthquake? An occasional button. There we go. That should give us a path to progress. Knock down this shortcut grapple. You can grapple back up there later. Uh, we don't need to. We're not coming back to this island. And get back in your boat. Maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but... Yeah, do not sit on Murmur. Make sure you take him off your booty before you sit down. And then we're going to make our way over here. Yes, yeah, so a lot of separate paths you can take. But I'm going to be avoiding them all. I will probably mention a few to you. Just, you know, if you go here, you can get this, um, etc. Just if you want to, just like I say, if you want, only wanted to do the minimal for platinum, just follow me. So we're going to get this. These, uh, I think these are optional, um, but they give you like a permanent increase to your stats. So this is probably one of the only things I'm going to collect which is not required for platinum, just because they're useful to get along the way. There you go. That's a due of runic power. That will just give you a permanent increase to your runic, permanently increased times two. And then I'm going to dock here. On this island, all that we're going to get is a, um, I think it's an artifact. Yeah, an artifact. So get rid of these enemies first. Is that it? No, there's still a few more left. Thanks for the heads up, Murmur. Yeah, Murmur's always got his six. You can rely on Murmur to let you know when there's an enemy about to pounce. Right, so once you killed them all, yeah, you see, I'm not collecting anything that enemies drop because um, what I normally do, uh, I just normally wait till I go to shop and just open the lost items chest and um, just get all my items out from there that enemies dropped. Yeah, that's why you won't see me looting enemies too often. It's just quicker than running around and checking the map for drops. Right, so before we drop down, lob your axe over there, like so, to freeze that. Do not call it back. And then come down here. Call that. There you go, that will make this fall down. Yep, and then you can get your shield back. Just done with that. Basically, all you're doing is you wanted to make that first gauge fall down. And by the way, I did say there's an artifact on this island. There isn't, it's a next dock I'm thinking about. After the second gate. Yeah, it's a far, it's a dock beside the second gate. And I'm starting to do a text guide for this, by the way. So um, I think I've had a few people ask about it already. Yeah, if you check description, I'm going to put a link up to my text guide, which basically shows all these points of interest, which we're collecting. Basically all the collectibles, anything required for platinum of importance, I'm listing it all down and giving you a rough description of where you can find it. Just in case you want to look ahead or you prefer text. So yeah, link in description guys. Yeah, we're going to get the artifact here. The Sunrise of Nothingness. Just come around this corner. Yeah, I am avoiding a lot of loot. A lot. We should get most of it later. Right, come to me, Stormbreaker. I mean, uh, Leviathan. And we're going to pull this chain down. That release one of the locks. There you go, that's the bottom teeth gone. Halfway there. Yep, halfway. Very observant. I knew there's a reason we've got Atreus hanging around for. Right, so you freeze that. Come around here. There's going to be a few enemies. Here they are. Yeah, these guys are annoying. They just they cling to the wall and spit acid at you. So what you can do with these is just kill them. You find an annoying enemy, just defeat it. They're frogs. That's what frogs do. They hop around. Right, that's it. Once killed all the enemies. Come around here. 
and you press X on that or circle and then what we're going to do we're going to yeah that's going to come down because that's frozen there once it's down you're going to call your axe back quickly and then shoot that as it's going back up to release it like so once you release it come around here you can jump on top and then freeze that geyser down there and that should raise this and we can get an artifact here yeah, this one I said sunrise of nothingness, a new artifact, and then pull this chain down. As you can see, there's a chest on the left which I'm avoiding. That's it. Now we can get on through, drop down, and head back to the boat. Right, I've got a, a long boat journey now to like a little settlement. Maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> yeah, this, um, we're going into a big open area soon. In, a, in like a big lake, a big open lake. And you can do a lot of exploring there. There's some sort of side quests as well, or favours. As they're called in the God of War universe. But yeah, I'm going to avoid them all. You do not have to do all favours for Platinum. I'm not sure exactly yet, I mean I'm still working things out, uh, I think it's probably somewhere between um, 10 and 20, I think it's 50 altogether, yeah I think you've got to do about between 10 and 20 for Platinum, like I say you need 30 or 35 uh, Norna chests, you need to get all the Ravens, you need to get all the artifacts, there's a few other things you have to do with them all. Uh, but it's also some collectibles where you don't really need to do any at all or a very limited amount similar to Norna chests yeah I guess there's sort of fishing village no it's no fishing minigame in this I'm surprised you haven't put that in here actually water, normally if there's water in a game you can expect to do, have a fishing minigame can't you I guess Kratos is, um, he doesn't really see himself as a fisherman. Yeah, so once you get here, I think that's something which boy would be good at. Yeah, so we're going to come up here, there's going to be a raven. You see that one just up there, perched on the front of that house? Let's try again, there we go. Come over here and talk to Sindri. Yes, that's Raven 2 or 48, and here's my lost items chest. You can loot it if you want. Um, but once you're done, say, so, talk to Sindri. So, cutscene guys, you're going to skip forward a little bit. Right, guys, so now I've got a new, uh, new ability. So, say the magic word Skiafa. Skiafa. There you go. And you'll release some enemies. So, get rid of these. I'm just going to get an artifact. He's a skittery bugger, isn't he? He's all over the shop. He's worse than these little uh, gremlins. All right, so um, oh, it's one more. No, that's it. I'm gonna say, didn't get the XP, so I thought it's one left. So um, yeah, come down here after you've got your new ability and you kill the enemies. And Skiafa. Yep, and get his artifact. This is artifact uh, number three of twenty-eight, large society ground orb. So once you've got that, you're just going to head back up there. And you know that hole which we made where all the enemies came out of? We're going to climb up and go in a little crawl space. Atreus. Yep, here we go. This way. This way, bye. Seems like me, the Valyrs, locked down because of us. Mm. Outsiders are not welcome here. So after passing through this crawl space, you're going to go left quickly. If you're quick, while the dialogue's still playing out, you can avoid a battle here. Just quickly come down here, grab the artifact, and run back. Like I say, if you're quick enough, you can avoid these enemies that spawn. If the dialogue... They don't seem to spawn with this dialogue for some reason. Right, quick. Head back. Yeah, so you got that artifact, guys. That one is... Uh, Greep's Firebomb. Always doing that. Come into the middle area. Smash that Skiafa. Do not forget to say the magic words. 
There you go. Move this massive cart out of the way. Come on, Kratos. You should have been smashing it with your axe. How dare you push it. Yep, and then go to this little house. You're probably going to have to duck to get into the doorway. They do not build these houses for normal sized people. Gods. Here we go. Inside you're going to meet a new NPC. No, it's not a bird lady. It's a violin player. Or whatever that is. Broken violin. It's, do you know it's upside down? Right, well, don't tell him. Alright, so a little cutscene, guys. Just going to skip forward a little bit. Right, so um, we don't need to take the favour. You don't actually need to do that favour to progress, I don't. Well, to get platinum, I don't think. But you're going to come out this door. It doesn't matter anyway, because um, even if you don't take that favour, when you come down this, um, when you get back in your boat and you go down the lake, it pops automatically, that favour. And um, Sindri's going to give you the compass. And another cutscene to skip. What sort of Sindri? He's being so generous. What's he after? Yeah, so you've got his tutorial on um, on the compass. I need to turn off tutorial, tutorials, actually. I'll make sure I do this for the, um, before the next video. Yeah, this tutorial takes a second. Right, can I skip it now? Come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Sindri's been ever so kind, isn't he? He's definitely after something. Gonna have to watch our back around him. You heard that, Mirma? Keep an eye on Sindri, he's up to some Don't trust him. He's giving me too many things. So, Mystic Gateway there. And then get in your boat. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Yeah, you should have unlocked that Mystic Gateway. Yeah, I think it did. Normally, when you walk so close to it, it sort of um, triggers automatically. But I didn't get a prompt then. I think it's just because the dialogue is still playing out. But yeah, make your way through here, guys. And shortly that favour will start automatically. But like I say, you don't really need to do this one. It's a optional favour. Yeah, that one there. In service of Asgard. Carry on down here. And we actually need to go left here. But we're going to get that Jew in the middle there. Right in front of us. So over there, that's where you can do the favour. And there's a lot of optional docks around there. But a lot of the collectibles, you won't be able to access them now. Because you need end game where well, you need abilities which you're going to unlock throughout the story so we're going to explore all that bit later on so it's going to get its due now while we are here this little teardrop yep there we go that's cool down permanently increased by two and come over here and dock at the dock yeah that's what I just said. Wow. Boy. This is the safety office. Well, yeah, so we're heading into safety office for safety breathing. So Atreus doesn't hurt himself. Alright, guys. So another long cutscene. So I'll see you afterwards. We're looking for Durland. Right, so um, yeah, after meeting Derlin and the beautiful dinner, yeah, you'll get control back shortly after, and um, yeah, we're gonna leave him to it. Dinner's yeah, leave dinner to eat his breakfast. Thank you. Yeah, so as we get out here, we're going to there's gonna be a train ride. I think it's here. Yeah, so it's gonna be another cutscene in a second. Oh, you got his battle first. Oh yeah, I remember this. A few enemies to kill. Another chance to uh, flex my muscles. Tense my biceps really hard when I hold him a Leviathan axe. Right. Yeah, get rid of the frogs. These large mutated frog-like creatures. I think they're called Grims. Sounds a bit more menacing than frog, doesn't it? I think that's their aim. But they still look like frogs. Yeah, come down here, you bloody little cowards. Okay, 
Okay, where's more? Okay, it missed. Yeah, I guess I could use my Spartan Rage. Look at these guys just running away all the time, spitting acid at you. Oh, it's two of them. I see. I see. Lure me into a trap for you. Here's bait. Is that it? No, it's still one more. All we need to do is open that gate, but you can't do it when there's enemies in the area. Oh, here we go. Atreus, you just ran past him. You didn't even hit him. Bloody hell. Useless. Alright, definitely killed him now. Yeah, so all you got to do is open this gate, but you can't do so when the enemies are um, alive on the map. I'm going to go for first ever train ride. Boy, this is the first time he's been on a train. So yeah, he does get a little bit excited. There you go, jump on the train guys, hop on. There's only enough space near for two people. Oh, and uh, two people in the head, two and a half people. Or 2.2. Yep, so get through this cutscene guys, and I'll see you at our next stop. Right, here we go guys, Paddington Station. Five minutes later, yeah, it's a bit delayed, but we got here, that's the important thing. So come down here, and it's going to be Raven in the sky. Get ready to lobby axe. No, wrong weapon. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. Yeah, so wait for the birdie to come back. If that is his water fight, he may have a water fight. Sounds like fun. There you go. Yeah, it should be Raven number three off 48. Can come up here. Path's gonna fall, but we're gonna go left. Go up, drop down, smash the scaffold in, and then get the artifact beneath it. Deactivated, but yes. Yep, deactivate the bomb or whatever they're talking about. Yes, that's a new artifact, guys. Number five of 38, and that is Barry's grenade. I guess that's why they mentioned bomb. And they come through here for a little boss fight. Drecky. Oh, looks like somebody already killed him. What happened here? He used caution. I think it's he used caution. I don't think he did. That's why he's dead. Definitely dead. Does look quite wonder... menacing though. Oh, oh, one of them's alive. Okay, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to use my rage mode. Yeah, I just keep using the R1 attack normally. Because you'll find a lot of the other attacks are used too much of the meter. Yeah, if you can boost, if you can get a stagger gauge to max, that normally does like a massive bit of damage to him. Almost got him. Well, get out of the way, he's going to do a um, undodgeable attack. Completely miss with that. And got him. Right. Right, calm down, calm down. Just calm down. That's it. If you want to take a splinter out, calm down or we're going to cut you. Oh, too late. Told you not to move. And we got him. So he's going to drop a lot of goodies. And one thing I do need to do as well. Yes, you'll get a Chaos Flame. That's used for upgrading your um, Blade of Chaos. You'll get a Runic Attack for the Blade of Chaos. And you'll get some upgrade materials. Yeah, you'll get this new um, you'll get this new Runic Attack. Flames of Anguish. There we go. That one there. Just going to equip it. Right, and we're good to go. Yeah, but I actually need to, um, I need to remember at the end of this video, I need to turn off Auto Pickup. Turn off auto pickup and also um, turn off. Down there. I can see a mine. That has to be now, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, turn off tutorials. What if a war was yeah, so it's going to come up here, go left, what if it's ours too? up here, and there's going to be some of them little um, rodents to kill. But you've actually found the nest. Take out the nest first so no more spawn.
Do not leave Atreus fighting this on himself because they're too much for him. He needs help. And they come and unlodge this train. Push the carriage out of the way. We don't need that. There's only me, Atreus, and a head. Right now, we've just got to dislodge it. It's stuck. Wow. Yeah, so um, Atreus is unfortunately giving us the commands here. And he doesn't quite know. He'll keep changing his mind. Okay, so it's left, right, <laughs> then left, then right again. That's what you're pretty much doing here. Make your mind up. Yay. Quicker than last time, at least. So, yeah, we're going to have another train ride. You don't need a ticket for this one. Yeah, but it's going to be a little fight here, but it's just QTEs. Basically, some enemies will be trying to... Um, get a seat on the train but um, they don't realize there's only space for two on this train so um, just boot them off but yeah it's just loads of Q2Es here so get through this section guys the Q2Es and I'll see you afterwards that troll was not expecting that was it and yeah trust Atreus to bloody break the train yeah so um, as soon as you get off the train you're going to have to be in an enemy encounter. So get rid of these enemies first because there are two collectibles we want here. you got to kill them anyway. You remember you have your new runic attack now with your blades. Should be more enemies. Where are they? Oh, they don't spawn until you come down here. That's why. Goodbye. Get back down that hill where you came from. Oh, it's one of them bloody things again. Snipe, try and snipe me. Right. Yeah. Just quit him in half. There's dinner. Dinner, there's some dinner for you. Right, once you kill them all, guys, drop down this chain. There's going to be an artifact down here and a raven. Yeah, it's so your guys' artifact. Lohind Whetstone. And I'll show you in a second. Yeah, so it's that artifact there. And then you want to get this raven as it comes back. No longer of use. But enough about you. Yep, Raven number four. Once you've got that, I'm going to head back up here. We've actually almost got everything we're going to be getting throughout this video. I've just got a few more collectibles to get, and that'll be pretty much it. Yes, yeah, so you want to go back up here now. And along here. You'll find some collectibles, they're not far away, but I still avoid them. And that's basically because you have to go past that collectible to get to another one, which you can't access yet. So a lot of collectibles I'm going for are collectibles um, which we don't need to go past to get to another one. If you know what I mean. So it's not like wasting time to get it. But yeah, make your way through this crawl space. Kill them little rodents when they try to escape. So you can actually interact with their prompt to duck. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Right, so after giving a boy a brief lesson on a, how not to be a pussy. I'm going to freeze that. Should make this drop and you can grapple across. Yep, and then here you can use this. There you go. Light that first brazier. And drop down here. And when you pull your axe back to unfreeze that, so water starts going down the water wheel, and it, you can use that grapple point. Once over here, light that with your blades, grapple back across, back to your axe, freeze the water again. And you have to do this one last, otherwise the water will put out the flame, 
There you go. Once you've done all three, there's a Norna chest up here. And this will give you a upgrade to your rage meter. A horn of blood meat. There you go. Each time you get an upgrade, uh, get like a maximum upgrade, it'll be you'll need one for the next upgrade, two for the upgrade after that, then three and four and so on and so forth. We're gonna give Boy a boost up. I'll head across for a better look. And he's gonna lower this platform so we can get across. Father, there's a gate up here Once he stops yakking. You, you got one job to do, go and do it now. Oh, come That's on. it, press square. That? That Shut up, just do as you're told. Oh, well, I snap you both. Yeah, so jump across here and press X next to that to um, move this. It will lower this. Yeah, you get a bit wet. You might want to try to avoid the water if you don't like, if you don't want to get wet hair. Come out here, and then once over here, you're gonna freeze the water. You're gonna freeze it by loving your axe. And then you can grapple up to it, and then call your axe back, and it will raise, and you can jump across here. There you go. Once you're here, you're just going to have to wait a minute for a boy to get his side of the door. There you go. Then you can lift it up. Be quiet. It's not heavy at all. Right. And move this out of the way. And there'll be an enemy battle after meeting Sindri. Take out these enemies, and then we're going to be going to get another collectible. Since you're currently lacking what is he going to give us now? And have no way what he is definitely creeping after some act. So I'm just going to skip ahead of this cutscene, guys. It's only a short one, okay, your but you're going to get a flashlight. Thanks, Indri. Hey, wait. What do you mean by untold horrors? Okay, so I've skipped. I don't know what point was of editing that out. But yeah, you got a flashlight there. It's supposed to be. So you get rid of all these enemies. Boy can get these. I think that's like an even match if he fights some little rodents. Right, once you've got them all, you want to come down this path. Yep, you want to hit that straight away. There you go, and it's going to make that massive rock over there swing over to you. Here it comes. It's going to lead us to a collectible. So it's going to get a boy to shoot that. I'm going to come down here and wait. There you go. Then once you get up, you want to use your axe and freeze the freeze the water. There you go, and it should send it back. This is going to lead us to a artifact which we want. Artifact tall and bang is the name. That should be artifact number seven or thirty-eight. When I say X number out of 38, I don't mean for that specific uh, collection, because you'll see there's different collections. I just mean for the total amount of artifacts which we need altogether. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but it's also a legendary chest here. If you want to get that. I don't bother looting it, but if you want to loot it, you can. There's nothing important in it. It's just like a... I think it's uh, something for the... I think it's an upgrade for one of your weapons. Uh, just like a new pommel. Yeah, in that legendary chest there. Just get this artifact, which I just picked up. And then use the zipline, guys. And we're going to make our way to the mine now. Now, the next collectible is not until you get your first relic. And the first relic is story related. So you can just make a move on now. Just carry on forward. And you know when you get your first relic, so I can say it's story related. And the next click was after that. Otherwise, stay, just follow me, coach, still. Right, I had to focus then. 
There's four of them little rodents. I think I can hear the water too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those were coming well, I'm gonna use my Spartan Rage on this guy. Right, let's go for it. Let's unleash heaven and hell. Right, that's him toast. Yeah, once you've got them all, you need to come over here to progress. Yeah, I'm not I'm not collecting anything they drop, I just grab it from the um lost item chest later. I'm sorry. Alright guys, so another little cutscene, so I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Finally guys, we can uh, finish that conversation with uh boy. So that was going nowhere. So I'm gonna check lost item chest and I'm actually gonna to talk to Sindri here because she can upgrade your blades of chaos. Because um, when we kill that Drekki, you actually got a Chaos Flame, or is it Chaos Spark? Yeah, you can also craft Resurrection Stones now as well. But you don't really need them on easy. Right, yeah, Blades of Chaos, upgradable. There we go, upgraded it, guys, to level 2. Right, ready to rock and roll. So yeah, just crack on. And once you get here, all we're going to do is... We want to shoot out of an arrow, and we want to freeze this there. There you go, make this grapple point raise, and we use it to get across. Down here, and we're going to go through a sort of gap in between the wall. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem, brothers. With Thimble Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Right, a few enemies. That's my axe. Right, gonna carry on up here. There is a there's a few other things you can do here, but I'm I'm leaving them just because there's a better chance to do them later. A more efficient moment. So I'm just gonna drop off here. This is like a little puzzle. Uh, I did need to collect that hack silver, picked up by mistake. But it's not a bad mistake, is it? Right, so carry on up. There's another le level you need to climb up to. Press X on that to flick the switch. Swap the direction of the water. Don't worry about the hack shield I picked up. Picked up by mistake. Back over here. We're almost there. And then what we need to do now is we need to freeze that to raise the grapple point. Yep. Then we're going to go across. Yep. Then we're going to hit that like so. And we need to freeze this to lower this. The there we go, lift this up, and then you want to call your axe back, and that should send the elevator to the top. New exercise, be quiet. Right through here, there'll be a little Anything. sort of mini boss in a second. Right, you got to kill all these critters, and this is where we're going to get that um, story-related relic. Just got to kill all these little enemies which are going to spawn. They 
Yep, and they can take the red account. I thought it's a few more enemies that spawn, like some bigger ones. Yes, this is first relic. You have to get all of these for a trophy, by the way. And this is what a lot of collectibles lead to. A lot of collectibles, you have to get all the collectibles in order to unlock one of these. Yeah, so relic is basically like uh, an, another ability. Yeah, that one makes it so um, you get like a, a like a nine second buff. It's not great, but I guess it's better than nothing. Yeah, it just makes you do like more melee damage. I don't think it increases your runic attacks. So like I say, it's just runic damage. Uh, sorry, melee damage. And um, I'm not entirely sure if it use if it, it increases the damage on the. Uh, rage mode yet that's something that I need to sort of test further but hopefully I should figure that, figure that out guys before the next video but yeah I think it's a good thing to um, trigger that your relic and then go into rage mode just do more damage right finally once you got them all yeah, you can finally squeeze through this gap. So all we've got left to get, guys, is that's just that's one raven. Yeah, just one raven. In my text guide, I've put a shortcut a shortcut point, uh, but that's just mainly so you can get quick access from between these two levels later. Yes, yeah, so you want to come up here. You're going to shoot that to reveal the grapple point. Grapple across here. Make sure you kick down this. Yeah, kick down this shortcut point. That's it. Just get you back down to level below later if you need to. Well, later on when we come back to um, do some collectible hunting. Come up here. Shoot that. And then pull the chain. Should be clear now. Ready when you are. Yep, and then use the zip line. Once across here, you want to come across here and uh, yeah, and across here, then across here. Yeah, you want to send Atreus up there, and you want to freeze this, freeze it just there. That's it, just near the water wheel, and then get him to use it. Press square, and then you'll see three rocks come down. But they sort of once all three have fallen, they group up and they all stop, even when you. Recall your axe. You're going to call your axe back once all three have stuck together, and you're going to use axe over there. And that should make a grapple point raise. You can grapple across and then shoot them, and this big crate will start moving. Call your axe back, ready to get this last raven over there. There you go, guys. Raven number five of 48, and that's the last collectible in this video. So through here, going to go through his crawl space. Ears open, eyes up. Atreus, do my words irritate you? Yeah, I, I said there's going to be a little boss battle. Let's not. This you're just going to encounter a stronger sort of enemy type. That's all it is really. But yeah, once in here, you want to shoot all these four locks on the frame. There you go, and then try to open the door, but you will be rudely interrupted. Yeah, that's what happens if you parry at the wrong time. You take a lot of knockback from it. Like, um, you get staggered for a second or so. Right, that's it. Yeah, when you've got them, then you can open the door. 
Yeah, I don't know why it's opening the door that way. But, okay. It looks pretty cool, I guess. There we go. That is how not to unlock doors. So you do not start going around your house opening doors like that. Right, so a little cutscene, guys. Right, once we get control back, guys, we're going to be thrown straight into a battle with these punks. So we're going to get rid of them quickly. If I do not get attacked by every single attack. There we go, finally a nice parry. Yeah, so once you killed him, uh, knock down that doorway to get out. And then keep running ahead, killing the enemies. And eventually, we can go up there. Yeah, don't worry, Mermo. Just hold on tight, mate. Fight until my ass really tight. Don't worry, I don't mind it. Who's behind me? Oh, that punk. I think our weapons set each other there. Press the square then, but I forgot boy was otherwise occupied. Right when he's got them all. Um, where are we going again? Oh yeah, squeeze through this little gap. Grapple across there. And here we go guys. Another little cutscene. Just a little one. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, she's just going to follow up here now, follow Tyr and Atreus. Yeah, he looked quite menacing when he first stands up next to you, Tyr. It makes you look, it makes you feel really small. I guess now we know, it's like I know how uh, Sindri and Brock feel when they're standing next to us. That's true, that's very, very true. Yeah, so when um, you get on the lift. Oh, thank you. So kind of you. It's alright. I don't expect you to turn the crank as well. That would just be asking for too much. Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No. Yeah, it's anti-violence. Um, so we'll bring it back over to the dark side, don't you worry. Well, I hope we do. I don't really know what happens, you know. I'm literally playing... When I'm releasing these videos, I'm really, I'm playing I'm playing each part literally about three times before I move on past this part. You know, I'm, I'm looking at everything, you know, what's required. I'm trying to plan out, decide what we're going to do, what's optimal to do now what's optimal more optimal to do later on yeah quite a lot goes into these walkthroughs you know trying to make it nice and efficient um, but yeah this is my fourth time going through this chapter believe it or not my fourth time so here like i said we have got all collectibles so um, all we need to do now is follow your comrades there you go and i just realized he's got nothing on his feet poor guy no wonder he's, I was going to say, is that why he's running so slowly? Yeah, he's got sensitive feet, bless him. Oh, hello. Go back. And you. Bloody hell, he's skittering around. He's a slippery fella, isn't he? He won't let me kick. Oh, there he goes. Luckily, these guys can't swim. 
I thought he jumped in the water then. Okay, enough messing about. Let's just get rid of these enemies. Time to focus. In fact, I think this is the last enemies. I think there's one more enemy near the end. Uh, just like one more little puny enemy. What's he doing? Is he sleeping? What a time to have a nap, eh? Silly. Having a nap in the middle of a battle. No wonder these guys keep losing to me. Right, is that it? Oh, hello. I think I can't see you there. Yeah, once you got them all, let's come around here to the boat. Wait for the dialogue to skip and they should see the prompt. Near the claws, the icon. Is that supposed to be a foot or what? Something else? I don't know. I've never really thought too much about that. You'll soon change your tune, mate. You wait and see. Yeah, so another long cutscene, guys. I'll see you in a few seconds. Before we go any further, the truth. Yeah, once you get here, guys, off the boat, you're going to have one little enemy to fight. I don't know why I thought one enemy was going to be the game changer here. Just this one enemy between us and finishing the game. I don't know why. There you go, have an axe. Yeah, always killed him to come up here and go through the Mystic Gateway. That's this thing here. Just make sure you turn it on. You'll complete that quest, the quest for Tear. So that's the second main quest done, guys. And then open the door. Just close it behind you. We were not born in a barn. I'm trying to say... Look at me. Now you remember beauty, don't you? I'm sorry. I know, look at that sparkle in his eyes. The giants are He's never seen such beauty. Very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Right, once you guys have finished, where is the There we go. It's been here. Right, so back at Sindri's house. Oh look, Sindri's swept the floor. Should we take our shoes off? Oh, to, he came prepared. He's not even wearing any shoes. What's he going to do? He's got dirty feet. What are you going to ask him to do, eh? Okay, I'm coming. Wait. I oh, know, cheeky. They always close the door on you. This is, like I say, this is the fourth time I've done this, and it's the fourth time he shut the door on my face. Honestly, by this point, I'm feeling pretty hurt. I'm going to have to shed a tear. Just like Atreus. Probably not as many. What's going on? Yeah, talk about a splitting headache. Right, gonna loot that. Yep, and then that's it. I'm just looting the um, lost item chest. And we're gonna come in here for one to one with Murmur. Right, cutscene, guys. Right, you'll get control back very briefly. Ass boy. How about I suggest an alternative? Yeah, but stay crouched because when you're crouched, you're invisible. What are you talking about? Nothing can see me right now. You haven't seen in a while. I'm merely an illusion to the naked eye. Jormungandr? Did you find him? I can pop in and out of reality just at the, just by crouching. That's it, stay crouched like a tiger. No, no. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't And here we are. I've reappeared. And that's it guys. Yep, so when once this new quest starts, old friends, we've have actually done two quests there, I think. Um Yeah, I mean we've just done that one with um Kratos but now we're doing the old friends with Atreus so this is where we're going to pick up in the next video so I'm just going to make a manual save I'm doing this at the end of each part yes and that will be it for that video guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one